and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I'm going to have a look at how you can use one of these, an Android phone or an iPhone. I haven't got an iPhone so we're going to be using an iPad. And we can use these as a webcam. A couple of different ways of doing it and look at some tips and tricks to hopefully try and get the best out of it. So let's uh, get them struck up, get on the computer and see how we do this. Right, so what we're going to have to do first to get this all to work is download some software. Uh, luckily enough, it's all free. Now we're going to be connecting the phone and the iPad to OBS and vMix. It can be a bit hit and miss, but hopefully we'll get it the first time. So what we need first for OBS is the NDI plugin. Um, I'll put all the links to all the uh, software it's required in the description below. So you go to this page here, which is the OBS NDI 4.8.0, which is the latest one. Uh, download that and just run it uh, like any other program, and it will add the NDI plugin into OBS. Uh, now, you don't always have to do the next bit, but I would recommend it because I've had some problems. Once you've actually downloaded it, installed it, then make sure you reboot your computer. Um, it sometimes doesn't go into OBS straight away unless you reboot, so reboot that. Now then, for the Android phone, there isn't a piece of software on the Play Store that you can download and use, but you can download the NewTek NDI camera as an APK um, which you'll have to install yourself and that'll show you on the phone what we need to do with that so on your, on your phone what you're going to have to do is go to this website on a, a browser download the APK and then in your settings go down to security and you'll get You've got one there that says unknown sources, allow installation of apps from unknown sources. Make sure that's switched on. And then navigate to where you've downloaded the um, APK, which I got rid of. But once you've, down you've been downloaded, just tap on the APK, it'll come to you want to install, and then install it. And what you get is the ND, new tech NDI camera. So I'll download that first, but also on the Play Store itself, look for IP webcam because that's going to be the other way we're going to connect this Android phone if you're not happy with the NDI. So get the new tech NDI, which is the APK, and IP webcam off the Play Store. So that's on the Android. So on the Play Store you want to get this IP webcam app, download that and we'll use that for the, another way. But then on the Android, uh, go into the App Store and look for NDI HX Camera. Now this used to be £20 but because of the lockdown and that they've made it free. So it's, it is available free of charge now. So you need that for the iOS. You need the new tech NDI for Android if we're going to use NDI. And if we're going to use a different method, we're going to use the IP webcam. So we get all of those. So once you've got them downloaded. So right. So once you've got the Intech phone app downloaded on your uh, Android phone. 
all downloaded on your iPad. We'll have a go at connecting it to OBS. So we get OBS up and running and what we need to do first is start up the Entech app. Now on the app itself we've got some settings we can change but not many. We've got a zoom setting on the left, we've got an exposure setting next, then we've got one we can turn the LED light on and up, another one we can put a grid on, we can turn the audio on and off, the next one turns the camera around, so if you've got a front facing camera, turn that round. Now the one with the bars is quality. So you've got standard quality or high quality. So we can change that and we'll, we'll show on in OBS how that works. But one little tip that I found is do your settings first before you start. Because if you do it while the camera's running and transmitting uh, to OBS or vMix when we get into vMix, it does seem to add some latency into it. If you do it beforehand, you don't seem to get that amount of latency. So we've got this on normal quality. I'll start the camera running, so we've got the red dot. So in OBS, we go on sources, we go add, then we've got NDI source, call it whatever you like, go OK, and then in source name, we've got the name of your phone, which is mine is a VFD900, so we click on there. Now we've got bandwidth issue uh, settings, we've got network settings. Leave these as they are at the moment. Doing allow hardware acceleration doesn't appear to make a great deal of uh, a difference, I must admit. Um, the other ones leave, and then we've got latency mode. Well, we'll start it off in safe, normal safe, and see what we get. So we'll just hit OK, and we'll make this... Uh, a bit bigger, so we'll transform it and fit to screen. So we've got the camera transmitting. And then we can use it as a webcam, like so. So we can change those settings. So if we send change this to low experimental and go OK. Whether it makes a lot of difference, I don't honestly know. But if we go into here and then we change our quality to high, and you see that we've got a bit more latency on the camera but if we just stop it change it, start it again we don't seem to have quite as much latency if we start it while the camera is not transmitting so as you can see that's working perfectly I'll just stop that one. So if we go into the iPad, we we'll start up NDI on here. It will start up automatically on here, but we've got exactly the same settings apart from. And I haven't got a screen recorder on this one here. We've got this one here, which is your quality, but you have three quality settings have a low, a medium and a high. I'm going to stick it in the medium but all the other settings are the same as on the Android. So if we go to that NDI source it should be now, there's the iPad one. We'll leave all these the same. 
And then we got this one here. If we try and change in the settings, I admit, I do find the iPad one a little bit better. Let's change the high. There doesn't seem to be a lot of latency. And into that. So if we go into here and try allow hardware acceleration. So I don't really see a noticeable, a big noticeable difference. Alright, so that's in OBS. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to, if you're using vMix, because at the moment vMix are giving you 90 days free trial on the full package. Um, so if you want to give it a go, uh, so we've got the same thing. We start up the app. I'll leave it on normal. Get it going. So in vMix we add, input, hit NDI. There's this one. That's working. And then let's try two at the same time. I'm stick that on there. Start up the iPad. Switch it on. Let's add another NDI. So we've got the iPad. And so we've got two, two NDI sources and I can cut across just the same with any other input and you can do the same say in, in OBS as well. Right so that's the NDI working in the same, works well. I will just give you some tips and tricks on this one if you're going to use the NDI. If you're going to use the NDI either in vMix or OBS to get the best and least uh, latency on it, I'd a, make sure if possible the PC you're running it uh, running the uh, OBS and that on is connected to your modem network by Ethernet if at all possible. Um, obviously if that's not possible then fair enough. Try and reduce the number of wireless connections in your house or property. So if you've got uh, other iPads connected or smart TVs or Xbox or something like that switch them off so that you, they're just the camera that you're using the NDI with has got as much bandwidth in that wireless network as possible and that does make a big difference so we say if you've got anything else that's wireless in the house other phones and that just switch them all off while you're using the NDI and then you'll reduce the latency even more but if you are struggling with that and you want to do it another way then what I would recommend is the, so yeah, so if you're struggling with the NDI and you can't get a very good connection, and the other thing to try is IP webcam. And you can download this on iOS as well, but I'll just show it on the Android. So if you start up IP webcam, now you've got a lot more settings you can do in here. You can go into your video preferences, 
pick which cameras, video resolution, um, orientation, quality, frames per second. You can there's loads and loads you can set up in here. So we'll what we'll do is go start server. And you'll get the main camera come up. Now, first things first, go to a web browser and go to the IP address that you'll see at the bottom. HTTP 192.168.1.10.8080. Well, missed me dot out. And you'll come to this screen here, uh, which you can again do some more settings because this is a web browser that's running on your phone as a server for this camera. So what we want to do is go to browser and then you'll get your picture up. Like so then go full screen. Now what you want to do is Copy this web address at the top, while I hit Control C. Close this all down. And then in OBS, we go plus browser. Call it whatever we like. We'll call it browser. And then the URL, we'll paste that URL in. Leave everything basically as it is. And just go OK. Then we can transform this to bit screen. Twelve eighty by seven twenty, aren't we? So let's change this. And there we go. So now we've got basically the same thing, but we can change more settings, and we've got autofocus. Focus in here. So we can use it like that. So let's come out of that one. And if you go into VMix, it's a similar idea. We'll go add input web browser URL, we'll just paste in that. The resolution in. Okay, and we can say we can fade across, and if we wanted, if we put this one down here, and bring the iPad up, start an NDI on that one, add our NDI, which is that one. So now we've got. That we can put into there, we can fade that across to there. Cube zoom it back. So we can use them as inputs. So say if you're having trouble with NDI, then use the uh, web browser version. So that was uh, my look at uh, using your phone, either Android or Apple, iOS or an iPad, as a webcam using the NDI protocol in OBS and vMix or using a web browser based IP camera uh, again you can use that in OBS or vMix if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button when you're notified hit that bell button until next time see you later <laughs>